Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be highlighting as well as going over something that Amazon has recently just announced, and that is the launch of Amazon Bedrock. Approximately a couple hours ago today, they released this new service that makes advanced generative artificial intelligent models accessible via to through APIs and customer, customers can basically choose a range of powerful AI models for text as well as images through a scalable and reliable and secure AWS managed service with the ability to privately customize different FMs with their own data. And this is something that we're going to be highlighting throughout this video. And if you guys haven't subscribed or checked out my video before or my videos before, please do so guys. I have a lot of content and a lot of different things throughout the AI world in which I highlight. So I highly recommend that you check it out. And with that thought, please subscribe, notify the bell for future updates, like the video, comment, whatever you want to see. If you want to support the channel, there's a link down in the description below in which you can donate a coffee for. Now with that thought, let's get right into the video guys. So as I said today, Amazon actually released and is joining the AI arms race. And basically they're trying to release this, re release this application as a revival to ChatGPT as well as Google's Bard. And what this actual service does is that Amazon Bedrock has a serviceless experience that can easily integrate and deploy AI models into customer applications using AWS tools and capabilities. And this is going to be very revolutionary and an easy way to build and scale generative AI applicants applications with their foundational models. And this is something that I'll be posting down in the description below their white paper paper as well as its blog in which it goes more in depth on what they're trying to do and accomplish with their model. Now, in terms of some of the features of what this new application is, it basically accelerates development of generative AI applications using FMs through an API without managing infrastructure, which is an amazing way that you can actually scale and build your applications. Now you can choose FM models from AI21 Lab. All, these are some of the applications that Amazon or AWS is actually partnered with. And basically you can use these different cases of applications to help the models as well as to grow and scale your application foundation. There's a private customized FMs using your organization's data. So everything is secured using AWS. Now use a, you can also use AWS tools and capabilities that are familiar with to deploy scale, reliable and secure generative AI applications. Now, basically the way it works is Amazon Bedrock provides you the flexibility to choose from wide variety as well as a wide range of FMs built by leading AI startups and Amazon. So you can find the models that is best fit and suited for you and what and what you're trying to actually get done. Now with Bedrock's ser serverless experience, you can get started quickly, privately customize FMs with your own data and easily integrate and deploy them into the application using AWS tools and capabilities. And you are familiar with including integrations with Amazon's SageMaker ML features like experiments to test different models and pipelines to manage your FM at scale without having to manage or any infrastructure, which is a great way for you to actually, like they said, scale and build your own AI generative application. Now, some of the key uses and features they have provided is that they're going to try to focus on the text generation, which is something that all these large language models are trying to accomplish and perfect in terms of getting better prompts to create analysis of and articles, blog posts, summaries, as well as different web page creations in relation to text. Another thing that they're doing is their conventional as well as their conversational interface of a chat box system, as well as a virtual assistant. And this is something I actually highlighted of another large language model, which is AI Legion. Today, I released a video on how they're trying to basically use a large language model that is fully autonomous and trying to solve as well as help in customer based chat box scenarios. And this is something that Amazon actually just released right after I made that video. And it's crazy to think that there's basic businesses, big businesses like Amazon who are trying to focus on autonomous AI applications such as this. So it's a good way to see a good progressive movement in the AI world. Something else that they're trying to do is their search feature, which finds and synthesizes information to answer questions on a large corpus of data. Now the 
I don't know how they're going to basically apply their data sets or where they're going to get gather the information. But this is something interesting that I would like to cover later on in the future. Obviously, with text generation, they're also going to emphasize a little bit more on their text summarization in which they can help prompts gather better information, information, information to actually summarize textual content, whether that's blog posts, text that you wanted to actually summarize or certain documents or PDFs. And this is something that they're actually emphasizing a little bit more on because it's something that the revivals don't actually emphasize a lot on and image generation, which is really cool. And I th never thought they would actually focus on something like this. And they're, what they're trying to do is create realistic and artistic images of various subjects, environments, and scenes from language prompts to actually articulate different artificial and like image generation, which is a really cool, unique feature that I never really thought about. Now, their last feature is personalization. And this is something that will help customers find what they're looking for with more relevant and contextual product recommendations that than word matching. So basically this will also help their business interface with basically targeting as well as gathering information that is more prevalent for certain customers. And this might be something that they can utilize for B2B clients in which they can sell their basic AI, uh, sorry, not AI, their AI application to other businesses in which they can help them target with more contextual recommendations using personalization feature. Something cool to also note is the choice of their foundation models. And these are some of the companies that they've actually worked with and invested in basically creating their models and making it accessible to anyone who wants to use it. And basically they have over 100,000 customers of all sizes and industries using their AI and ML services at the moment. And that's through in integrated like startups like these companies over here and which helps them with their AI generative models. For example, Jurassic 2 is a multilingual LLM for text generation in Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Italian, and Dutch. And this is something that is integrated with their AI generative system. And that's going to be also accessible through Bedrock. And they have a broad and deep portfolio of AI as well as ML services at all three layers of the stack and have innovated to offer more performant as well as scalable infrastructure for cost effective ML training and inter interference. Now, they have also developed Amazon SageMaker, which makes it easier for developers to build, train and deploy these models. And we can see that over here in this image. And it's, it's quite crazy to see a big tech company like Amazon announcing such a product like this, which will help and scale the AI community in a different way. Now, at the end of the day, this this whole paper is very, very long and it, there's a lot of details as to what they're trying to accomplish with different features. So I highly recommend that you check it out. But yeah, that's basically the gist of today's video, guys. I just wanted to emphasize something cool that Amazon's trying to release. Now, overall, Amazon emphasizes the importance of ML and AI in transforming businesses and their commitment to basically grow these technologies for a wider use in the AI world. So I hope you found this video entertaining, guys. I hope it was very informative. If you want to see different videos, I'll definitely post different things that you want to see. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so, guys. There's a lot of content and a lot of things that might be beneficial for you. So with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so like the video, comment anything that you want to see in the future. And with that thought, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and have a great day, guys.